Hey guys, Teresa here and welcome back to my channel. I am like beside myself because today, as you guys can tell, I have everything done on my face. All my powders, my primer, my bronzer, my blush, eyes, not eyes, but <laughs> my eyebrows, lip conditioned, everything and ready to go so that we can test out this this right here, I mean you guys, this is simply amazing. Look at the packaging on this. The Pat McGrath 5 Bronze Seduction Palette. I am so excited to play with this. You guys know I will be keeping the outer packaging. This is art and it is collectible. I'm a collector now of Pat McGrath Labs and I am super excited to try this out. I have been eyeing this for about a good five months now. It's been in my loves and my Sephora uh, love section and on the app actually. And I am just beyond excited to try this out. Now I just opened the French doors on this. And when you open the palette, well the packaging actually, there is a sleeve just like the mini uh, quads that she has with the special four shades with all of the names on it which I like I mentioned before I truly appreciate that because you just don't want to junk up this beautiful fabulous packaging now this packaging is super heavy it's very weighty very luxe as you can see and uh, the Pat McGrath logo on the front and gold and then the back is gold print and let's just open her up. Oh my God. Now this Mira, see that's what you're paying for. You're paying for the name. And Pat McGrath is the mother of makeup, like period. I have used and tried a lot of different brands. And I know this is an expensive brand, but you are paying for the name and you are paying for the packaging. You got this beautiful Mira. And then here are the shades inside. So pretty, oh my God, this is me. This is literally me in a palette. And I am going out for date night tonight and I don't even know where to start or what shadows I wanna use. Um, but I'm just gonna play with the palette and we are going to get into some things. I am so excited to finally try the shimmers and the mattes that she has. There's three shimmers, three mattes, and then the four special shades which come in the quad that she is especially known for. Now, I am excited to try the shimmers and the mattes. I have not tried those yet, so this will be my first time trying those and we are going to zoom in so that we can show out. Okay guys, let's get started. Okay guys, I have primed my eyes using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I really like this guy a lot. So now that that's all primed and set, I am going to go in with the shade Entrapment and that is the shade right here. And I will be using my Sonia G Detail Pro Brush to do that. Okay, next step, I'm going to be going in with the shade Disobedient, just to deepen up the crease a little lower. And I'll be using this shade right here. Okay, so far so good with the mattes. They are blending out very nicely. Now what I am going to do is I am going to go in with a shimmer. Hmm, where do I wanna go with this? 
I'm gonna go in with Glitty Pleasure, and it's like a taupey shimmer right here. And I'm just gonna do a light wash of that using my MAC 242 brush. Really pretty shimmer. Okay, now I'm going to use my finger and I am going to go in with a special shade on my lid and then I'll use an applicator because I have long nails to get into the inner third corner of my eye. Now, which way do I wanna go here? I'm gonna go in with this shade Rose Gold 005 and that's the shade right here. So pretty. Let's see guys, a special shade. Ooh, look at that. So pretty. Oh my God, I'm in love, okay. Alrighty guys, now I'm going to go in with my JH42 brush by Morphe and I'm going to hit my inner corner and my highlight. Actually, I'm gonna go in with Shin Scatto Divine Glow and hit the brow bone. Okay guys, now I'm going to go in with the shade Extreme Eubergine, and that is this shade right here, it's this eggplant color. And I'm just gonna go in very lightly on the outer corner of my eyes just to add a little more depth, and that is this shade right here. Okay guys, I'm going to hit my tear duct with the same brush, the Jaclyn Hill JH42 Morphe brush. I'm going to go in with Astral Lunar Gold, and that is this beautiful snow white iridescent shade right here. Oh, I cannot wait to use this. So I'm going to just brighten up things in the corner there. And by the way, I am not using any of these shadows wet. Now this is a topper, so it's very sheer, so I am going to wet my brush using my Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. And you know what guys, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go in with that same shade Astro Luna Gold that I just applied in my tear duct and just pump up the eyeshadow with a little, just a little more glitter in the center. Oh my God, this is heaven.
Okay, and with my MAC 242 brush, I'm going to mix the sh both shades that I use uh, to start my crease with, and that is Entrapment and Disobedient, and just smoke out my lower lash line. Okay guys, I am going to go off of camera. I'm going to add my mascara, my brows, and um, lips and all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna come back on camera and we're going to talk about the Bronze Seduction by Pat McGrath Labs palette. Okay guys, I am here for this palette. The hype is real. I really enjoyed the way the shadows blended, the mattes and the shimmers. You guys know how I, how I feel about her special shades already that came in the, uh, that come in the quads. So I, this, this palette is amazing. I really like it. I am excited to continue to play with it. And with the holidays and my birthday coming up, I know that I'm gonna be all over this palette any time of the year, but especially for those times. I am excited to explore the Pat McGrath Labs eyeshadows. I will be reviewing the um, Rose Divine palette. I ordered it, I picked it up yesterday. It sold out in two hours and I got my hands on it and it's coming your way, okay? Your girl was not playing around, all right? And um, yeah, guys, if you have this palette, let me know down below in the comment section if you like it. And if you have other palettes, let me know because I am just excited to ex expand my collection. Um, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I've tried a lot of brands and there is nothing that is this good. There's nothing that's this good. Um, I would say the Natasha Denona um, eyeshadow palettes, the mattes are really good. Like her mattes, her shimmers are really good, but I would say it's second to Pat McGrath Labs at this point. But those are my two favorite um, eyeshadow formulas. It's just amazing. It's just like riding or driving a Rolls Royce versus uh, Nissan Maxima, I'm just saying. <laughs> But yeah, I really, really like this palette, you guys. I'm excited to continue playing with it and um, be on the lookout for the next review coming up next week. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me on all of my social media handles. Don't forget to click that bell bar down below so that you're notified every time I upload a video. And until next week, take care, guys. Bye.